first name was? I'm Kayla. I'm Bentley's mommy. And we, we, I think we spoke to you earlier this yes. morning. So, um, first of all, uh, we're just so thankful to know that he's safe. So Bentley is safe. He's not hurt in any way, and that's a blessing in itself. I could be so much happier with the outcome. And, you know, he's just getting checked out of the hospital right now just to make sure, just to be safe on the safe side. But Bentley was really smart and resourceful at his age and comes from his parents, I know. But I'm just very thankful for everybody involved that helped out. I couldn't thank y'all enough because this could have turned out really bad. And it didn't. And he's okay. And I'm very thankful for that law enforcement. Everybody spent all night, including his two older sisters, spent all night with him, looking for him. Dad, do you want to say a few words? Yeah, I'm glad that I was one of the first few people with the guys that found him. I took off running when they were circling and jumping fences. He was found safe and sound. He He's resourceful. He got shelter. He got something he got to eat. And, and everything. He's, the good thing is he's safe. And the community of Wendell, how they oh come together gosh. and everything, and the world that we live in now with everything going on, that's amazing. The community. I can't thank everybody enough. And he's safe, he's sound. And I just want to tell everybody thank you because yes. that's awesome because it yes. could have went a whole different way. Most of the times you see these on movies, like Lifetime movies and stuff. They like, never end up good. There's a different type of ending, and I'm just happy with the outcome. Me too. I would be when you first saw him. He was excited. He, he was fine. He jumped about 10 feet in my arms, and that's the RV. best feeling I could feel to where I found my son, and he's all right. He was resourceful, and he found an RV to stay in for shelter, and it had power. So he stayed warm. He didn't get wet all night, and he found a cat that he fell in love with that we might end up taking home. You know, the question that the community has, and, and, and hopefully you can answer this for us, is why would he not get on the bus and leave and flee? That's the million dollar question is why. But there could he's be multiple nine, reasons at nine, nine years old. old. That's what we're still trying to talk to him. Goal, we're going to let him get him checked out by the EMS, make sure he's all right physically. The main goal is that he's okay. We can talk to him to see what was actually going on with him and what he was thinking yep. to see what we can do to... One thing Help at a time, it. one thing at a time for him. We don't want to bombard him. You know, Bentley's ADHD combined, so you can't you can't bombard somebody like that with a ton of questions. You said he got something to eat. Wait, yes. Tell me about that. How, there how was he... power in the RV. He was resourceful. He even learned about um, hypothermia in a survival book that we gave him. You know, so he's very smart. In the smart. RV, he basically found some, something to eat. and he Put it in the microwave. microwave. He knew the time. He was very he was resourceful. You mentioned that he has ADHD. You know, have you had any issues with this in the past, or like, does it impact him in any way when it comes to stuff like this? With school, really. Um, but no, no other issues. Um, but even now that you know he's on the proper medication that actually helps him, you know, it's that's all that matters too. You know, he's good. We got him on a regimen that works for Bentley. What it's all about Bentley. What? What were some of the things that he said this morning once you guys found him? He was so happy. He was so happy. It was the best feeling in the world. He, like, looked, he looked at me and he smiled and he was like, I knew you was going to find me. <laughs> I was like, son, I ain't been to sleep. I ain't been home. I ain't been to work. I couldn't just go nowhere and just sit around with my son out there. I, that's not the type of dad I am. I can't do that and wait for a phone call.